I feel like there's this, I'll call it a, a blanket or stereotypical cynicism coming from who I'll call this group of market rate developers when they look at or, or, or kind of speak to affordable projects and, and, and affordable developers, being that there's this argument that affordable developers put up this big show that, you know, like they put on this big show, they have this big front and it's, it's fancy and look at me, we're doing so good. And I think those market rate developers feel like, you know what, there's just as much money in it for them as there are, you know, as there is for us at these market rate projects. And I'm speaking in broad generalities here, but I have definitely heard this before from more than one person. And I know that there's a lot to unpack here. So without you feeling like I'm pushing you into a corner trying to get your answer, um, I, I, I'm so curious to know how you how you kind of take in that viewpoint, knowing the type of ex uh, projects you execute on, and, and and where does that opinion land for you? Because I know that there's there's probably quite a few things there that you would, you know, kind of come to the surface right away. Totally, I have like. I have like 50 things pop into my head when you say <laughs> something like that. So I'll try to keep my mind organized. But, you know, I think one interesting way to start the conversation is when applying for public funding, a specific source in Portland called the LIFT grant, which stands for low, what does it stand for? <laughs> it stands for low income, fast track housing. And it's really targeted at private developers to um, as kind of like a subsidiary track to LIHTC projects to get creative and continue to deliver um, affordable housing. And we do have a lift grant in place in one of our projects. But one of the uh, parameters that you plug in to the pro forma early is the um, project management fee or the developer fee, which they say can flex up to 15% of total development costs, which as somebody coming from the private development world, I was just like, whoa, <laughs> that's a mm -hmm. lot. You know, like I, I sat with that for a while and like, I would say that, you know, where, where I'm coming from, you know, the the total development cost percentage of the developer fee is closer to like maybe eight or 10%, which is also, um, you know, according to some developers kind of high, but at the end of the day, it's all, I think it all like kind of comes out in the wash because like regulated affordable housing developers tend not to benefit from like a long-term equity piece of their project, which, you know, maybe more market rate developers do with promotes and things of that nature. And so I think that development is really complicated. And I used to say that it was really easy because I wanted more people to do it. But <laughs> the truth of the matter is like, it <laughs> takes a while to like wrap your arms around it. And once you do, you have a lot of um, kind of moral decisions to make around how you conduct yourself as a developer. And so um, that that tension between affordable housing developers and market rate developers, I think it's like you got to just return to this idea of like how much of your time are you putting into it? How complicated are the deals you're putting together? And you want to make sure that they're not needlessly complicated, right? But mm. depending on how complicated they are, and perhaps there's like educational elements uh, that you're sharing with your community that kind of go above and beyond the scope of a typical real estate developer's purview, like from a standard perspective, you got to really account for your time. And so um, I think where a person's developer fee lands is like personal. And of course they should be like really open with their investors about how they get there. And I think that there is a direct correlation between, you know, you know, you take less of a developer fee, potentially you can increase the affordability on your projects, but I don't think it's black and white like that. I think that, um, there's lots of things to think about a developer fee. Like it's always the first at risk. Like if hard costs run over, it's the developer fee that covers them. 
And so, um, gosh, I'm just like kind of talking a lot about developer. <laughs> but, um, well, one of the things you told me was that at the end of the day, there is just no playbook. And oftentimes these, you know, missing middle projects, these affordable projects are, are, they're just, they are more complicated. They have more moving pieces. There's more to them. There is, um, sort of a, a rhyme and a reason to each individual project. It's not a template that's being stamped out the same way every time. And, um, what I had written down was you said, why, why wouldn't we be compensated the same as a market rate developer? Because arguably in some instances, it is more complicated and more, more difficult of a challenge as compared to, you know, your, your status quo uh, development project, let's say.